Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. And before I get into this video, upon leaving y'all, please make sure that you go over to my second channel called Conversations with True T and subscribe. Please make sure that you do this today, okay? The link will be underneath this video in the pinned comment section, okay? Because just in case issues arise with this channel, I don't want y'all to, you know, miss any of my comment, not my comment, my content that I will be um uploading over there on my second channel okay uh so y'all i want to address the video that maurice did today pretty much threatening a blogger with a lawsuit the blogger that posted about him allegedly being arrested on meth charges and being placed on probation for 10 years allegedly okay i was supposed to cover this story but i refrained from doing that because there was some uncertainty there about whether or not it was the maurice from the show and that was too strong of an accusation to put on somebody if i wasn't 100 percent sure that it was him now the blogger that did run the story i wholeheartedly feel that she honestly believed that the report she saw was about the maurice scott from the show okay miss black titanic I hope you don't get mad at me for saying your name regarding this. I don't mean no harm, but I want Maurice to know that you have supporters and we support you and the work that you do. What we don't support is the people who bully and disrespect you because they're mad. Okay. About you being on the asses pretty much and exposing them for who they really are. And that goes for all of them. They all are on the show lying in my opinion okay and they have been called in lies they're on the show lying okay and content creators like yourself miss black titanic and myself and others are exposing the truth and that's one thing that the cast you know of the show don't like is the truth which is why they tried to destroy the channels of the content creators who exposed them Mel said that this would be a year of revelation. She already knew who they were, okay? A lot of shit is being revealed. And a lot more is going to be revealed. And the cast know it, which is probably why some of them are fleeing, okay? Leaving the show. Because they don't want their truths to be publicized, in my opinion. Tiffany and Luden left, Okay? And I feel like it's possible that he decided to leave because he may be having an affair and don't want that shit to be on TV. So while Tiffany, Karen, Nisha, Dorothy Whitlow is over there liking that Instagram video that Maurice did threatening the blogger, she need to be worrying about that. Marceau and Tisha, Marceau and Tisha, I feel like they're next to go because Marceau don't want to be forced to talk about his alleged infidelity, in my opinion. I feel like some shit is getting ready to hit the fan and Tisha and Marceau is about to scram, okay? Y'all heard, if you watch the show, y'all heard Tisha in Saturday's episode saying that sometimes when things don't work out, it means that you're not supposed to be doing it. So she said maybe she should go back to being a stay-at-home mom as if she ever stopped being one. She may be starring on the show, but that's about all she's doing because Marceau don't want her doing nothing else. And whatever Marceau want, Marceau gets, including the vasectomy that he knew his wife didn't want him to have. But she come back to the show talking about she may be pregnant. Another reason why her and her crew need to... Marie said that he thinks that we, as in the bloggers, content creators, whatever you choose to call them, we need to separate this reality television from reality and that's the thing him and the cast they've been separating the show from their reality since the shit first came on a reality tv show is supposed to be centered around the cast's reality but they have given nothing but fake ass storylines so that they can continue to obtain checks why because in my opinion they all are in dire straits and are living from paycheck to paycheck, okay? Like regular folks, including Mrs. Stormy Steal Your Money, Tater Head Steal. The one who sat in an interview with Carlos, okay? And said that she was worth eight figures. 
but getting sued, okay, for not paying four figures. Bitch, make it make sense. And while I'm on her, and I know she listening, because she was just in another content creator's comments talking about, I never get down in the comments, bitch lies. Your whole life is a lie. Okay? You got a hold to some money, went and bought you that house and that G-Wagon, and declared yourself a part of the Jefferson family. Okay? Which you're moving on up face ass. The only thing about that is that you may have, you know, moved up there on that farm in that plantation home, but for the past several months, it's been like your ass moved into Madison County Courthouse because that's where your ass been. Because in between you being out here stunting and grunting, knowing your ass ain't got nothing, you forgot to pay your bills. Okay? But you forgot on purpose, in my opinion, because how can you just take people's services and not pay them what you owe them? You forgot you owed them? I guess the same way you can take people money and didn't give them their product and have the nerve to tell them no refunds. So somebody got down in my comments a few days ago and I knew that it was either Tater Head or somebody she sent because they had a timestamp in their comments, in their comment. And when I clicked on that timestamp, it took me to the part of my video where I had began to talk about Stormy. Okay. This person's question for me was, why watch the show if I don't like them or some shit like that? First of all, I'll watch whatever the fuck I want to watch. And when I get done, I'm going to call out the bullshit because for one, I get paid to do so. And for two, trash needs to be exposed. But back to Maurice, I'm going to tell y'all what I feel like the deal is with him. Okay. Notice in his message to Miss Black Titanic, he mentioned that he didn't have a criminal history, never been arrested or in handcuffs. Now, mind you, Martel said that he had never been to jail too. But he was also the same clown with a mug shot out there and a conviction for helping to rob an ATM. He thought that because Mel helped him to get that shit sealed or expunged or whatever it's called, he thought that it was going to be erased. No, sir, you are still a criminal. Mel made that very clear in one of her posts when they were going back and forth, back when he threatened her with that revenge pee because she wouldn't be quiet and allow him to lie on her in peace. So when Maurice said that he's never been arrested and have, you know, nothing more than a ticket or a citation on his record, I don't know if I believe that. When people get arrested, sometimes they give false names or half names or, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even leave the middle initial out or put a fake one in. So I don't know necessarily if I believe that Mar Maurice is not a criminal. I mean, if everybody else on the show can be a criminal, why would we believe that it's impossible for him to be one? Okay. Is he one? I don't know. And he's so irrelevant to me that I don't even feel like digging to find out. Okay. Like Mel said, he's the least relevant person on the show, especially since Tiffany is gone. My thing is I wanted to address him since he wanted to address the bloggers. I consider myself a content creator, but I know that he meant them too. And I know, okay, that he didn't came across my video of me talking about him not paying his taxes. Okay. Allegedly. And he's embarrassed because, you know, <laughs> he's embarrassed. I'll leave it at that. In my opinion. Okay. I'm not into lying on nobody. And if it's not true, prove it. You mad? Take it up with Madison County because that's where the document came from. Now, he said that he has no criminal record, but he didn't say that he paid his taxes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. He said nothing about the tax document being fake, which speaks volumes, at least for me to do. So when Miss Black Titanic posted about what she had came upon, about the illegal substance uh, charge that he allegedly had. I guess he wanted to use that as an opportunity to scare the content creators so that they would refrain, okay, from exposing him. Because shortly after he did that video threatening uh, Miss Black Titanic with a lawsuit, somebody 
behind the account of Mrs. Ty P got down in my comments talking shit, okay? Saying that that property information that I put up there is incorrect and is why that's why Maurice is going to sue me about what do you say? Basically, she was just saying the information that I put up there about his taxes was incorrect and that's why he's going to sue me, okay? She said, you basically posted another Scott's info that is not his property and something about take, I should, I better take it down or some shit. So like I said, I guess that was supposed to scare me into taking it down, but I want to let that person know as well as Maurice know that that document that I posted about them taxes, okay, them unpaid ass taxes is going to stay on my channel for 10 days and beyond. It's going to the exact same place that the cast careers are going absolutely nowhere if it's not your tax document prove it mister i'm a lawyer what cases have you won and if you are the good lawyer that you say you are why can't you get your leaky pants brother out of that five million dollar lawsuit for fraud that's against his ass you're not scaring nobody okay and if you're such a great lawyer reserve your greatness for your bicycle chain wearing ass brother who continues to harass and bully the EP of the show just because her mother didn't want his sorry ass. And yes, I'm talking about Mark. He's so mad and always talking about a woman saying that she don't need a man. I don't think a woman feel that she don't need a man. Okay. They just out here saying that they don't need a man like him. And he's mad. A man that is highly disturbed, disrespectful, and loves to bully women just like the rest of his brothers and homeboy Martel y'all Mel ain't said nothing to or about mark but he continues to post her on his instagram page and talk about her all because Mel's mama didn't want his ass so he want to bully Mel, just like he was trying to bully her mama so while maurice is out here making videos how about he send one to his brother and tell his brother to stop harassing a woman that's not bothering his ass okay see maurice making that video is about the pure joy that he gets from making a woman do something that he wants them to do, wants him, you know, wants them to do. Okay. He's a bully. He probably over there telling Kimmy silly ass to jump and her ass probably over there saying how high. Cause it's not like he ain't made her quit her job, her nursing career so that she could be at home to please him whenever he got ready for her to do so. Or for her to be available to raise his son that belongs to Kyle. He didn't just ask Miss Black Titanic to take the video down, y'all. He's demanded an apology from Miss Black Titanic. It would be one thing if she intentionally put false information out there, but she honestly thought that it was him. And for all we know, in my opinion, it could still be him because he hasn't proven that it isn't. And his words surely don't mean shit. This could just be a tactic to get her to remove the video. Okay, Kimly probably, uh, Kim, pro uh, whatever her name is, Kimmy was probably embarrassed and told him to threaten the blogger, in my opinion. Okay, whether she told him to or not, he done did it. Okay, like I said, this could very well be a tactic to get Miss Black Titan to remove that video, just like somebody came to my channel earlier today and tried to get me to remove my video. Okay, this ain't the first time that Maurice done threatened somebody with a lawsuit, is it? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he and his goofy ass wife say that Ariane was going to have a lawsuit on her hands for saying that he was with linebackers on that guy's trip? So my question is, what happened to that lawsuit? Because Ariane doubled down with her recollection of Maurice and Marceau being with linebackers on that guy's trip. Have y'all seen a lawsuit filed against Cole Slaw, Cole Sore Curry? Me neither. I'm guessing because it's hard to sue somebody when they're telling the truth. This could very well be him just trying to get a content creator to remove the truth about his ass, in my opinion. In his video, he said that he had talked to Carlos and Carlos told him, uh, why not give the blogger a chance to remove the video? So he claims that's why he is giving the person who posted the video about him being a criminal 10 days to remove it. And he is also demanding a public apology my thing is how is you gonna demand a public apology from a blogger before you demand one from your mama because clearly she fucked up i didn't seen her dancing in a video before and she was getting down but how is she gonna get down dancing 
and not get down raising her fucking sons into real men. I blame the absent ass father too. Marceau said that their dad used to work a lot, but a lot of times when guys appear to be working a lot, they be out there living double lives, okay? With a whole nother ass family across town. I'm not saying that their father did this, but what I will say is that I feel like his parents did a terrible job raising him. The majority of the Scott brothers are ridiculous and I feel like they have mommy issues. They appear to love their mom so much, but how when they appear to hate women? They treat their wives like trash, very disrespectful, and it's just not adding up. They got to be low-key mad at their mama, in my opinion. Just like I feel Martel is mad at Marlene, okay? That's how I feel. Maurice said that he was proud of his reputation and that he's going to defend it. But he's known out here, in my opinion, for being a misogynistic asshole and everything else. Okay, and there's no defending that, especially when it's been documented throughout six seasons of the show. But now that them documents hit, he want to defend his reputation. How about you better your reputation so that you won't have to defend it? He said that he usually don't go back and forth with bloggers, but I say that's a lie because I wholeheartedly believe that him and the rest of the cast hide behind fake accounts like the cowards that they are. Okay, going back and forth with the bloggers, but they ain't gonna do it with me because as soon as i spot their goofy asses i delete them and then i block them because they're not gonna get down in my comments with lies when i know the truth and the truth is that the majority of the cast is a bunch of sorry ass motherfuckers who want to get on tv and create false ass narratives for the sake of a check and fame okay when they all should be somewhere hiding so maurice wanted to get in the video and offer bloggers some encouragement he wanted to encourage the bloggers to do better research. So in return, you know, I want to offer him some encouragement. So Maurice, I want to encourage you to stop pressuring your wife for coochie when she's trying to recover from cancer. I want to encourage you to stop making her feel like she needs a support dog for unconditional love when it should be given to her by her husband, not Lassie. I want to encourage you to wear better suits. Perhaps ones that don't look like you've been sitting in the pool pit all day when we all know your ass ain't been a church since Thelma's husband tripped over JJ and broke his fucking leg. I want to encourage you to watch your diet. I want to encourage you to raise your own fucking son and stop trying to get Kimmy to do it because it has been determined that Kimmy is not the father. I want to encourage you to pay your taxes. I want to encourage you to stop getting online threatening bloggers because ain't nobody scared of you, sir. You may resemble a meatball, but you ain't got the sauce like that. So calm down with your I'm a lawyer face ass. Because don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. We still trying to figure out, okay, if that shit is even true. And if you are a lawyer, why did you have to consult with Carlos about what to do about a blogger allegedly accusing you of something you didn't do? What he know about the law, other than he allow those who break it to keep their job. If you were a real lawyer, I would assume that you would know what to do, which is reach out to the person who is allegedly giving false statements about you, okay? You know all about cease and desist. Because like I said, this ain't your first go around with trying to shut people up. In my opinion, you haven't proven that the Maurice the blogger was talking about wasn't you. All we have is your word, which means absolutely nothing, at least not to me, it don't, okay? It would be one thing if the Maurice, the person was speaking about, wasn't him. Just ask her to remove it. But he wanted to demand an apology. Boy, bye. How about you prove that you ain't the person who's on probation until damn near 2032? Because I'm not convinced that that ain't you. And just a fun fact, y'all. <laughs> Even if you are a lawyer in real life, Maurice, and not just on the show, I just want to put it out there that I read that convicted felons can indeed become lawyers. There's only three states in the U.S. that ban convicted felons from becoming a lawyer, and Alabama ain't one of them, okay? And that's going to be all for this video. Y'all take care, and I will chat with y'all in the next one.